Hi, I'm Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. I've been a Shopify expert for over four years now, and one of the things I love so much about Shopify is how they integrate with Facebook. So you can actually set up a Facebook store that's on your Facebook business page, and it ties directly into your Shopify store. So any of your products or collections can be automatically added to the Facebook store so that people can actually purchase from Facebook without even leaving Facebook, which is awesome in terms of keeping that conversion rate really high because there's less moving around of people and their, their traffic. And it's also cheaper for advertising. So you can send the ads directly to your shop page on your Facebook tab. But best of all, it actually integrates with your inventory management system. So you won't accidentally oversell a product. It's all tied in straight to your Shopify store. So let's hop into my screen and I'll show you exactly how to get that started. So we are in the back end of my Shopify store and we are in the home page dashboard area. So you can see right now that the only sales channel that we have is the online store. So to add more, so we're going to add the Facebook store. We're just going to hit this plus icon and it's going to pop up all the different available sales channels. So we're going to scroll here to Facebook and just hit add. And now it is first going to prompt us to connect to our Facebook account. So you'll have to connect to your personal account and then choose your page from there. So I'm just going to hit connect account. And I am logged into Facebook now already on my personal page. So it automatically pulls that up. If you're not logged in, it'll ask you to first log into Facebook. So now I'm going to select my Facebook page from this drop down list. And I'm going to select the delightful gent, which is what we are setting this up for and hit connect page. So then you have to agree to the terms and conditions. And this also goes over, you know, all of the things that you need to know in terms of having this shop set up on Facebook as well as advertising to it. So we'll just hit accept terms. And as you can see here, it does prompt you that this process does take up to 48 hours to show everything on Facebook. So just be aware of that, that things aren't going to show up automatically, that there is an approval process. So first, what we want to do is we want to actually enable the products. So you can see right here that it shows that it is disabled. So if we go to our products area, we can now choose the products that we want to show up on Facebook. So we'll go to products. And you can see here, I have all of my different products that are available now. And I'm just going to select all the products. And I'm going to hit from this arrow and say, make products available. And I'm going to make sure that it is selected for both Facebook and online store and say make products available. So before it was just available on the online store. However, now I want it to be selected on Facebook to be available. We're also going to do the same for collections. So you can see right now all of the products I have are bags. However, I have a couple other collections set up. I just don't have products to them to them yet. So we're going to go over here to collections in this left hand menu. So it's on our products collections. And we are going to select the bags that we want to show up. So for example, if we click into this messenger bags, we can see in this visibility area over here that it is showing a set up on Facebook. So if we hit manage, it is online store and Facebook. So that is set up. However, we need to go and remove a few that we don't want to show up on Facebook. So we'll just hit done. And I'll go back to collections in this left hand menu. So now I'm going to select all of the collections that I don't have any products in yet that I'm not ready to show up on Facebook yet. So I'm going to hit the sunglasses, the shop watches. I'm going to remove the best sellers bar accessories, socks, watches, and hats. So all of these are collections that I'm working on adding products into. However, they're not in there yet. So I don't want them to show up on Facebook without any products in there. So I'm just going to hit this arrow again. 
and I'm going to say make collections unavailable this time. And this time I'm going to just click off Facebook. So I'm still going to have them on the online store um, as showing as potential because I have my menu set up linking to them. However, I don't want them set up on Facebook. So I just deselected that and said make collections unavailable. Okay. And now that I've done that, you can see here, it'll say unavailable on online store. Oops, actually I changed the wrong setting. So we're just gonna go back under this arrow, make unavailable, and we're gonna say make unavailable on Facebook. We'll leave that checked and say make collections unavailable, and then we'll add it back to the online store. So now I'll click this arrow again, make collections available, and we wanna make it available on the online store. So now you'll see it just shows as unavailable on Facebook for all of those. And then my bags are available on both Facebook and the online store. So I also have a duplicate bag here. So this shop bags, um, it's something that I'm doing specifically for my navigation. So I don't want this to show up on Facebook either. So let's just select this. And from this arrow, we're going to say make collections unavailable and I am going to select just this Facebook. So I only want it to be unavailable on Facebook. Okay, and now we'll scroll down and now it's showing as unavailable on Facebook. So now we're gonna go back to the sales channel Facebook area. So we'll click Facebook here. And now you can see under this shop tab, the different collections that we had set up of what we wanted to show are showing on now here, which is bags, laptop bags, messenger bags, and weekend bags. So you can see how this is looking on desktop and mobile. This is the mobile and this is the desktop. So this is my cover photo, my profile picture on Facebook, and then here are the different collections. So this is the main bags laptop bags, messenger bags, and weekend bags. However, we can go in and we can rearrange the order. So I can drag and drop them. Let's say I want messenger bags to show up first. I would just drag and drop that on top. And then we now see this messenger bags is showing up above laptop bags. So we'll do it back just to show that it does it automatically like that. So we'll hit publish changes. And now we're going to go to publishing. So publishing is where you will see all of the different products that you have on your Facebook store. And if you have any errors, you would see that here. So if you had an error that wasn't working with the Facebook terms, that would show up here. Or if you you know, didn't have a certain um, variant like color or sizing that was off, then it would show up here. Right now we have this pending review of our 11 different products so far. So once that's done, it would show them as approved. And then we can go back to account and we can see all of the Facebook account settings. So now you can see that our shop is enabled and that our products and collections are published. So this would be after it is now being reviewed, we could saw on the publishing tab that we still had some products being reviewed, so it won't show up yet on Facebook. And we have this option of the Facebook checkout. So do we want our customers to check out on Shopify? Or for US customers, do we want them to check out on Facebook? So I actually like having this set up for them to check out on Facebook because it means that they don't have to actually leave their Facebook page to check out. So it'll pull in all of your payment settings and still run the payment through your Shopify store, but it makes it even easier for people to check out and it makes it very, very quick, which is always great to have that low barrier of entry to purchase your products. Now also, whenever you are creating ads, you can always create a Facebook ad that goes directly to your Facebook shop tab. And because of doing that, it's going to make it even cheaper for the ads because Facebook wants you to keep people inside Facebook versus going outside of Facebook to your store. So by doing that, you're actually kind of saving yourself a little bit of money on advertising. 
So now let's go to our Facebook page and see if it is showing up yet. And you can see now on this left hand menu, it shows as shop. And we can see the bags already being imported. So as we add in other things like the other collections that I uh, removed currently for watches and things like that, you would see them come in. It still shows as processing. So um, once it is finished, you'll actually see the prices and the description all being input there. And that's just pulling from your products in your Shopify store. So I hope you found this video tutorial helpful and stay tuned for the next video that's going to walk you through how to set up your Pinterest buyable pin sales channels.